Hey guys, I thought I'd pop on and do a video about my drugstore lipsticks. I thought I would swatch them all and then maybe if you're looking for a particular shade of lipstick or anything, this video might help you, hopefully. Um, I actually have more drugstore lipsticks than I first imagined, so um, I don't know how long this video is going to take, but hopefully I can get through quickly. So, first of all, I thought I would do them by brand, because it's just easier. So, I'm going to do my L'Oreal lipsticks first. These are the ones that I just keep in my current collection. I have way more lipsticks than this, but I don't keep them out because it just gets way too cluttered and I don't like to have too much choice, if you see what I mean. So I kind of give them away or just, I don't know, throw them in the bin if I find that I'm not using them or I've had them for too long. So these are just the ones that I keep in my current collection. It's usually behind me, but of course, because I'm doing this video, it's down there on my dressing table. So the L'Oreal lipsticks I have that are in my current collection. I love L'Oreal lipsticks. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I think probably L'Oreal was one of the first really like more expensive drugstore brand lipsticks that I bought when I was younger and I absolutely love them and I still love them. I still think they're fabulous. So I have here, I have some Made For Me Naturals. I think they're pretty much most of them Made For Me Naturals. So the first one is a Made For Me Naturals Blonde. This one is 233. And this one is in Burrell Taffeta. Now I love this lipstick, it is so pretty, it's gorgeous, it's absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a minky taupe. I'll swatch it for you. And it looks like that. Really, really pretty. It has a, like a nice mink undertone, but it it's it's it could would be considered a nude, I suppose. It's it's really, really pretty, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's gorgeous, as do most of the L'Oreal lipsticks. So that's Burrell Taffeta. Another um, Made For Me Naturals one is th number 380. And this one is the Made For Me Naturals Brunettes. And this one is a colour one, 380 Luminous Coral. So this is more of a brighter shade. I actually expected this to be a bit brighter on the lips than it actually is, but never mind. Still very wearable, but completely different to Taffeta. So that is luminous coral. The shade, the stick is very, a very accurate kind of the shade that's picking up on camera is very accurate. So that's that one there. More of a kind of a pinky colour, I suppose. Another one is a uh, Sienna 237. This is another Made For Me Naturals dark bronze. And this is beautiful. This is very, very pretty. It is like a dark kind of brown with silver shimmer in it. You can see the shimmer there. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So, swatch this. So that's Sienna. Just there. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Really nice. More of a winter shade. Then I have this one, which is a colour riche. This one is Peach Creme 454. And this is gorgeous. I love this colour because it's kind of like a really nice kind of peachy, peachy, pinky cream colour. It's gorgeous. I like this. Lovely for summer. But still very natural. So that's that one there on the end. So that is peach creme. Then I have a Made For Me Naturals Lip Blush. This one is for blondes and this one is in Blush In Nude 253. And this is very similar actually to um, Taffeta, to Burrell Taffeta. Very, very similar. A little bit of a gold sheen to it. If I swatch these next to each other, you'll be able to see. That's a little bit lighter. So there's Burrell Taffeta and that is Blush In Nude. Kind of like a nice wash, just a, a nice sheer washer colour rather than a real full on lipstick. It's really beautiful on though. And then the last L'Oreal lipstick I have is a colour riche and this one is their uh, Intense range for brunettes. And this one is 371 Pink Passion which I think is my favourite. This is beautiful. It's kind of red, it's not red, it's, it's definitely pink. So, absolutely gorgeous. So that is Pink Passion there. So those are the L'Oreal lipsticks. I have a load of Revlon lipsticks because I love them. I think Revlon lipsticks are amazing. So first of all, I have a Revlon matte lipstick in 004 Pink About It. This has actually been discontinued, I believe, but you can get it on eBay. So not to fear. 
And do you see this? It's got this gold sheen on the outside of it, but when it goes on, it is matte. And this is beautiful. It's so pretty. So that is pink about it there. Another matte lipstick. This one is uh, Mauve Over 003. So a lot of people will really like this lipstick. It's gorgeous. It's kind of it's it's because of the colour on my lips, I have very pigmented lips, it kind of comes out a little bit brick coloured on me. So it's more of a winter shade for me, but it is still very pretty. Um, and that's Mauve It Over on the end there. Just here. So that's that one. Then I have another matte lipstick from Revlon. This one is Strawberry Suede 005. This has been discontinued also, but you can get this on eBay. And this is like a watermelon red. It's beautiful. It's such a nice summer shade. I'll swatch it next to move it over. So that's Strawberry Suede there. Then we have the Revlon Color Burst lipsticks. I only have three of these, but I will swatch them for you. The first one I have is um, 035 Blush, which is beautiful. This is such a nice everyday color. It's gorgeous. It's just slap on and go colour. It goes with everything. So this is blush. Just there. These last really nicely as well. Then I have 005 Mauve. Just this colour. Beautiful. Just there. It's coming up a bit more purple on camera than it actually is. It's got more pink undertones in it than purple, even though it's called mauve. And then the last Revlon Color Burst lipstick I have is 030 Fuchsia, which is just a crazily beautiful colour. Look at that. Very much like Girl About Town by MAC. So if you're looking for a more affordable dupe, then this one will probably be it. And that's Fuchsia there. Beautiful. So those are the Revlon colours. I also have, of course, can't forget these, I have the Revlon Lip Butters. I have three of those, so I'll swatch those for you. My favourite one being um, 080 Strawberry Shortcake. And these are all still available. They're brand new, so they're still available. Oh, I'm going to hand space, I'm going to have to swatch on the other hand. So this is Strawberry Shortcake. That one there. You build these up as well, so um, even if they swatch kind of lightly, you can really build them up on the lips. This one is 075 Lollipop. This is so pretty, this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got like blue sparkles in it. Looks like this. This is Lollipop. I love that one. And then the last Revlon um, lip butter I have is Candy Apple, which is just so pretty. And that's 035. And it's like a really nice wearable red. So that's Candy Apple there. So those are the Revlon lip butters. Must get some more of these, they're so pretty. So that's that. Um, I do have two other lip products from Le Revlon, Le from Revlon, um, so I'll include these. These are the Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks, and I have two of them, so um, I won't swatch these, but you can kind of see what they look like. This one is Grand Garnet, which is like a dark ruby red, and then the other one I have is um, Premium Pink, which is a pink with silver sparkles in it. So that's those two. I won't swatch them because they are so difficult to get off your hand, but they're really good. So those that's my Revlon lipstick collection. And then finally I have like, what do I have? Six kind of random ones that, that don't really correlate to each other. I've got two um, Rimmel ones. I have a Lasting Finish lipstick from Rimmel in 006 Pink Blush. Now this is beautiful. This is one of my favourite drugstore lipsticks because the colour of it is unusual, the finish of it is unusual, it's kind of like a matte with a bit of a sheen to it, it's beautiful, it's really nice and they smell really nice as well. So this is Pink Blush. So that's Pink Blush there. 
really pretty. I love that lipstick. And they're cheap as well. And then the other Rimmel lipstick I have is a Moisture Renew. And this one is in 620 Spotlight Beige, which a lot of you probably would have heard of. Really nice kind of, kind of orangey nude. Depends what you wear it with though. It's a strange colour. But it's a really nice kind of adaptable colour. So that is Spotlight Beige on the end there. Then I have one Maybelline lipstick that I haven't got rid of in my collection. Um, I used to have loads of them, but I just didn't use them, so I gave them away and threw some of them out. But this one's really nice. This one is 721 Pinky Beige. And they still sell these. This is a... Well, I'm not sure. But it, it's in this tube. It doesn't, doesn't say what kind of make it is. So this is Pinky Beige. This is beautiful, this. And a lot of people say this is quite like Blankety from MAC. I'm not sure, but in the same family really smooth and creamy that's pinky beige so you see this is the spotlight beige and this is pinky beige pinky beige is way pinkier than spotlight beige <laughs> as you would suggest be suggested by the name and then i have one gosh lipstick one sultry gosh lipstick that i've that i've kept in my everyday collection this is the velvet touch lipstick and this one is in sunset 63. you can get this online um they don't sell it in the sh in the stands anymore but you can get this online it's a beautiful coral color So that's sunset there. And then finally for my drugstore lipsticks, I have two from Superdrug. These are by Fashionista. It's in Superdrug. I have one in um, Cinnamon, shade 1, which is a really nice colour. I used to wear this a lot in the winter. It's beautiful. Um, so that is Cinnamon there. Ooh, can't focus. So that's Cinnamon. And then the last one I have, very last one, is this one, which is Natural Pink Shade 2. And this is also by Fashionista. I wouldn't say this is natural. I'd say this is quite a dull pink, but here we go. And that's Natural Pink by Fashionista. So those are those lipsticks. So, I hope that was helpful, guys. I know it's kind of it's kind of frustrating when you're looking for a particular shade of a lipstick, especially with a drugstore, and uh, you have to go around, you have to swatch them all, and it can take so much time, and you get in such a mess, like I had, look. Um, but um, I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to kind of do an overview of my drugstore lipsticks that are in my current collection, and maybe it helped you out if you were looking for something specific. Check out my links below, my Twitter links, and uh, all sorts of various bits and bobs down below the description box. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That would mean so much to me if you don't by clicking up here. And leave me a comment and tell me your favourite drugstore lipstick. Um, that would be really interesting. I'd really like to know what that is. So I hope that was helpful, guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.